Row 18, plot 20. Hey everybody, welcome to Now It's Dark. Welcome to the Saturday Morning Circus. I'm Jim, I'm your host of this clown extravaganza, this chlorophobia. If you have a fear of clowns, this is the place to go to uh, have the pants scared right off of you. Uh, this movie, Crispy's Curse, is from 2017. It's one hour and 45 minutes. It gets a 4.7 star rating on IMDb, which in terms of clown horror, that's actually pretty high. Um, this movie was recommended to me by my uh, good friend Hobbs Horror, and you can check out his channel as well. Um, he had recommended the Clown Town movie that I reviewed uh, last week, and I didn't really like it. So he was trying to redeem himself uh, with this movie, and the clown looks great, crispy. The clown is an excellent looking clown. I love the makeup. It's inspirational, the outfit. Um, Crispy is a maniacal, uh, maniacal killer clown uh, firing up his chainsaw and killing again. Messiah Fist, a Christian heavy metal band, maybe the only ones who can stop him with the help of some ghost hunters and psychics. Directed and written by John Williams, stars Derek Akara. Sarah Wayne Cordes and John Williams. John Williams put himself in his own movie. Um, I hated this movie. It's in the UK first of all and it's a horror comedy which when you're watching a clown horror movie you have to expect some type of comedy so but this comedy just wasn't working for me. Um, these actors were so bad and their looks were no good. They had such bad wigs for this rock group, this heavy metal Christian band. I actually thought this cast might have been flown in from Ohio to the UK to film this movie um, because there's no actors in this movie that acted well or looked good, except Crispy. But Crispy is such a small part of this movie, unfortunately. So we have three kind of groups. We've got the Christian rock band, Messiah Fist. We have these ghost hunters. And then we have the cops. And the cops are played off as these two bumbling idiots, one of whom seems to always be eating. Um, and it's just so bad. There is one standout non-clown character that I really enjoyed. Um, and he was meant to be like the annoying character. Um, I'm trying to find his name. He was Mr. Baptiste, uh, Alan, Alan Baptiste. And he was played by Darren McAree, uh, who doesn't seem to have a picture on IMDb. So his acting credits, uh, are probably small. Um, yeah, like 10 things. But uh, the guy doesn't even have his own picture on his IMDb, so how serious of an actor could he possibly be? But he uh, stole a lot of moments for me. When he was on screen, his performance was the best of all of them, by far. He stole the show for me. Um, there are some kills... Uh, um, some that happen off screen, but when the police show up at this one bar, there was a band, like a, like a brass band, uh, at this bar. And when the cops arrive and they show all the dead bodies, <laughs> there were, there was at least one, there might have been more, but I definitely caught one where there was somebody's trumpet shoved up their arse. Uh, I did get a kick out of that, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Uh, so uh, some of the notes that I wrote down here were Hop's horror is messing with me with the clown movie suggestions. <coughs> um, and then I, oh, there's a line, cannibals and carpet fitters. Uh, I don't know why I wrote that down. Oh, so this is how I best describe this movie. And then I'm just going to end this. Uh, I didn't even put my clown shirt on because I could care less about this movie. This movie for me was like eating a bland dinner of bread and warm water. 
and then every 15 minutes getting one bite of a delicious dessert, but then going right back to the bland bread and warm water dinner. Because that's how little Crispy plays a part in this. Uh, I also wrote that it was borderline unwatchable, worse than Clown Town, and I hated Clown Town, and that there's a fine line between clown horror that has comedy and a bad comedy that has a few minutes of clown horror. And that's what this is. It's a bad comedy with just a few minutes of clown horror. Um, I give this two Boglins, and I'm being generous. I'm giving one Boglin rating for Crispy's look. The clown looks great. And I'm giving one more Boglin because I didn't want to give it only one because it was suggested to me by my very good friend of the channel, Hobbs Horror, um, who's from Ohio. Like, I'm guessing a lot of these bad actors were from Ohio as well. No offense, Ohio. Um, you've got uh, Cincinnati Bengals, so there you go. Um, that's going to do it for Saturday Morning Circus. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more clown horror every Saturday. And uh, you can listen to me rant about, uh, yeah, other stuff. So have your dream. Go on and sing your song. There's nothing wrong with singing out of tune. If people laugh and say your dream can never be, just think of me.